Woj says it would take a significant offer to get Donovan Mitchell. Dude can't even guard a folding chair. But hey, they already traded a one-way star for five picks, so anything can happen. But after the Jazz traded Gobert for that, they can't take less for Donovan Mitchell. Rumors say there are still several teams that could pull this off. This video looks at how the Jazz trapped Donovan Mitchell unless somebody makes one of the big trades this video lays out. Now, the Jazz hired Danny Ainge, and it was like the Grim Reaper hitched a ride to Utah. He wasn't afraid to restart Boston, trading KG and Paul Pierce, and the Jazz are next. But there's a problem with Donovan Mitchell. Actually, I'll let Shaq tell you. Donovan ain't that good. And the Utah Jazz ain't that good. Yes, an all-star, but not the best player on a championship team. People call him a young D. Wade. Wade was all NBA defense three times. Donovan needs all offense, which is fine in the regular season, but defense wins in the playoffs. So a gigantic trade is stupid. And if you think I'm being too harsh, Donovan Mitchell is kind of like Top Gun Maverick. I thought that movie would suck. I hate remakes. And it was actually kind of good. But it's not a great film. It's not going to win Best Picture. I just didn't expect much. Donovan was the 13th pick to a Jazz team that just lost Gordon Hayward. We didn't expect a lot. Then BAM! Year one, Spider should have won Rookie of the Year. And they beat OKC in the playoffs. This kid is great! Then in the bubble, he had that three-point battle with Jamal Murray. But then he just didn't get better. His playmaking is okay. It's kind of improved, but he never improved on D. Donovan is a six foot one shooting guard. Maybe the second best player on a title team. He's under contract three more seasons plus a player option. So the Jazz don't actually have to trade him. I think they just floated this out there to see if somebody would blow them away like they did with Gobert. And as awkward as it would have been, I think the Jazz would have brought Gobert back, but they couldn't turn down that deal. So these trade ideas are gonna be what Utah would accept. I'm not saying that these should actually happen, but even if they don't do this, Utah is going to take a huge step back. I mean, they dealt their best wing defender in Royce O'Neal and a three-time defensive player of the year for picks. That's a rebuild. If Donovan's not unhappy now, wait till they're fighting for a play-in spot. But what would it take for them to trade Donovan Mitchell? Now, if one of these does not happen, Donovan will be trapped on a rebuilding team until Utah lowers their asking price. Well, the number one team to watch is the New York Knicks. The Knicks get Donovan Mitchell, the Jazz get RJ Barrett, Evan Fournier, and five first round picks. So the Knicks get Spida and they get off Evan Fournier's bad contract, but it takes RJ Barrett and five picks. New York's got a ton of picks from other teams, so they still retain like their own 2024, 27, 28, 29. It's not like they're screwed. New York has loaded up with 11 picks for this opportunity. And they love RJ Barrett, but let's be honest, he is a potential all-star, right? Donovan Mitchell is an actual all-star. I think fans get emotionally attached to their own players because they watch them grow up, but forget about that. It will take RJ Barrett to get Donovan Mitchell, so get used to it. Now, you know I don't love Donovan Mitchell, right? But I do think he would make the Knicks more attractive to a really big superstar. We know stars want to play in New York, but the team's just never that good. I mean, think about Kevin Durant. He wants to go to somewhere where he's like the piece that puts them over the top so he can get credit. Well, Donovan and Jalen Brunson isn't the move, but it could be the move before the move. Next is the Miami Heat, and then a crazy trade that would break the NBA. Miami's always watching out for stars, and we have news. No, not D-Wade. D-Wade, you want to bring Donovan to Miami? Yeah. By the way, how did that clip go viral? Wade wasn't even, like, barely paying attention. The kid could have been like, hey, D-Wade, is your mom going to play point guard? And he would have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the news is the most trusted Miami Heat writer. He said, spoke to a Western Conference scout in Vegas about Donovan Mitchell. He said he's heard the Heat have made their interest clear. The longtime scout said he would move Hero in such a deal. 
Robinson picks likely also would have to go out. So what is the Heat's best offer based on that? The Heat get Donovan Mitchell, the Jazz get Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Max Struess, and three first round picks if they remove protections for OKC. And honestly, that offer sucks. Tyler Hero also doesn't play defense. Duncan Robinson fell out of the Heat's playoff rotation. Max Struess is just a good story. And those picks, I mean, it's one thing to get New York's picks, but Miami's, I mean, they've had a top 10 pick once since 2008, Justice Winslow. Miami's picks are always trash. They're low in the first round. I honestly don't think the Heat have an offer that Utah can't refuse. But the deal that would shake up the NBA involves Kevin Durant. Now we all know that KD wants to go to Phoenix, but they're having a hard time because Brooklyn doesn't really want DeAndre Ayton. But now that Donovan Mitchell is available, a new deal opens up. Now it's gotta be a four team trade because the Nets obviously can't have Donovan and Ben Simmons both on a rookie max extension. But what about a wild four team trade? A lot to take in here, but don't worry, I will break it all down. The Nets get Boyan Bogdanovich, Donovan Mitchell, Mikhail Bridges, Landry Shamit, Cam Johnson, and a 2023 first from Indy. The Suns get KD and Miles Turner. The Pacers get DeAndre Ayton on a sign and trade, and Mike Conley. The Jazz get Ben Simmons, Joe Harris, Buddy Heald, Cam Thomas, and first round picks in 23, 25, 27, and a lottery protected all from Phoenix. This trade makes too much sense. The Nets wanted a bunch of picks for KD. Instead, they get a star in Spider Mitchell and elite role players. The Suns get KD and Miles Turner, who replaces DeAndre Ayton, who goes in a sign and trade to Indy, which rumors say he will do anyway. The Jazz can't say no to Ben Simmons, Buddy Heald, role players, and four picks. All these players are rumored to be moving anyway. It all fits into one trade. But will any of this happen? No, I do not see Donovan Mitchell moving. Sorry, but this is Summer League. All these front office guys get together in Las Vegas, and then Woj hears something, and then he tweets it. I really don't put a whole lot into this rumor. Spida is under contract three more seasons. No one is going to give a godfather offer to them. And then what's he gonna do if he's unhappy? Pull a Ben Simmons? He, he, he's not that kind of guy. Right now, we know that the team most interested, the best offer is from the Knicks. And why would they give up RJ Barrett plus picks? No one else is bidding. It's just like the Suns not getting KD right away. They're not gonna offer four picks for KD because no one else is. There is no sense in paying full price when no one else is bidding. Donovan is trapped on a rebuilding team and I think he'll be in trade rumors like every day until something happens. Maybe, I don't know, a team like Portland, middle of the season, you know, they're doing okay, but they want Donovan Mitchell at the deadline. And remember all these players who just signed contract extensions, like Anthony Simons, can be traded on December 15th. That's when I think these rumors will kick up again. I think Donovan Mitchell will stay on the Jazz because it would be stupid to pay better than Gobert for a guy who's just not that good. And I kind of teased a little bit about why the Suns haven't gone out and been really aggressive to get KD. Now, I think that they're stupid because how lucky can you get that you have Chris Paul want to come play with Donovan Mitchell when you were the worst team in the West two seasons ago, and now Kevin Durant wants to come play with Donovan Mitchell? Like, dude, this is literally a once in a lifetime thing. I think the Suns are idiots for not just jumping all over this, but whatever. You may ask why they're not doing that, and there's a reason nobody really wants KD. I made a whole video about it right here. Check it out.